to welcome the opportunity to speak on this issue. The US pre-clearance facilities at Dublin and Shannon airports provide a very important service for thousands of people travelling from Ireland every year. Ireland was one of the very first countries to offer this service and it has proven to be a significant advantage to the state in terms of attracting airlines and air routes to our biggest airports, to our two biggest airports. The knock-on economic effects of having tens of thousands of passengers on these routes are obvious. The US is now looking to expand passengers who are pre-cleared by 30% and it's important that Ireland's services are operating as efficiently as possible ahead of this planned expansion. If the US is expanding the service, it may have a detrimental effect on the number of airlines who choose Dublin and Shannon airports in the future, and this is something we need to be mindful of going forward. Passengers have been reporting queues and delays at the service, and hopefully these issues can be addressed by increased resources at the airport. This shows the popularity of the service and how important it is for passengers travelling from Shannon and Dublin to the States. 1.9 million passengers used this service in 2018 alone. Shannon Airport in particular is very reliant on pre-clearance. People in the region feel that pre-clearance has, has been a key reason for the success of the airport, in particular during the crash years. And I take this opportunity to call on the airport authorities to ensure that any costs additional to those that the US authorities have agreed to cover will not be passed on to passengers. I understand how important and useful this service is for passengers, and that is not in dispute. However, under the Trump presidency, we have a series of new challenges around pre-clearance. The American president has imposed a travel ban on people from certain predominantly Muslim countries, preventing people from those countries from entry to the US. This policy is something that we in Sinn Féin find abhorrent. I think it is fair to say that most Irish people disagree with policies of this type. It's scapegoating people travelling from certain countries and we are supportive of recent efforts in the state to overturn this ban. Now this policy has been implemented on Irish soil. And I understand that Democratic Congress members have tabled legislation to overturn this ban, and I would be supportive of this.